What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today I'm talking about Zion Williamson and the unfortunate events that have happened this season. So if you don't know, in the before the season even started, we knew Zion was not fully healthy, and the Pelicans kind of just brushed this under the rug, said, oh, he'll be back. You know, it shouldn't be a major injury. He should be back in like four to six weeks. Somewhere around there. Like, basically, they said he'll be back in like a month, month and a half. And as the season progressed, and all the fans bought their tickets, expecting to see Zion, Ingram, you know, a new roster, a new face to the team, and hopefully them making the playoffs... The front office started leaking more information about Zion's injury and it's basically come out that they kind of bullshitted it and Zion is in dear trouble of not even playing this season. A young stud who was just an all-star last season might not play this season and you know his injury history is starting to get concerning. I've heard comparisons of him being the next Greg Oden. I don't think it's going to come to that extent but it is worrisome because you know, we've all seen the reports about him gaining massive amounts of weight in the offseason. You know, I'm not going to talk shit about his appearance or anything like that, but we've all seen that Mountain Dew commercial. God damn, he does not look like an NBA player in that commercial. He looks like a Mountain Dew sponsor, let's just say that. Uh, he should be more conditioned at the end of the day. He is a star. He is, you know, he puts New Orleans on the map. If you're watching a New Orleans game and you're not from New Orleans or a New Orleans fan, you're trying to watch Zion. Zion is box office. He is one of the funnest and youngest amazing talents in the NBA. You know, he led it up in the All-Star game last season, in his first All-Star game at this age. And he's missed more games in his career than he's played. That is concerning. Really concerning for a young 20 year old and also he doesn't even like the New Orleans franchise. He doesn't You know, he would give up anything to be playing on the Knicks right now being playing on a Top tier market like the Lakers or the Knicks. He would love that so much and you all know it New Orleans fans And it's so concerning Pelicans just look like another disaster of a season which is not surprising, you know, you can't give them hate, they don't have their star player in Zion. Brandon Ingram has looked great, Jonas Valanciunas has looked great, but without Zion, they're not the team they're supposed to be, they're missing their key player. So the question is now, is, you know, is Zion's career in jeopardy? Can he come back healthy, or is this gonna be the same old, same old? Because he got injured in college, didn't really play his rookie season like it just kept seeming they kept putting him in for like 20 minutes and then would send him the rest and then would send him some games even though he was healthy you know i don't know what the medical staff is doing with zion but it's very confusing from an nba fan's perspective it doesn't seem like they're really letting us in on zion's injury problems and it's very concerning that you know is it more severe than they're letting off is Zion even going to be able to play an 82-game season ever? Because right now, I, it's questionable if he can play 30-plus minutes a night for like a week straight. It's really concerning. Not, not to that extent, but basically, can he even play half a season without getting injured is the question. Because it's really concerning. And you know, I want to see him play. He is a star. A absolute superstar. He can score at will. At six foot six, 300 plus pounds. You know, he needs to get healthier. Hopefully, these injuries will stop occurring. You know, it's questionable if he will even return the season. He keeps having step backs in his rehab. And the Pelicans are in trouble. Because two years from now, I don't think Zion's going to be playing on the Pelicans. So now they have to question do we trade Zion? Or do we try to keep him in hopes that we can re sign him? And the question is, is it worth re-signing him? Can he play the games he's supposed to play? Or is he going to be sitting on the bench rehabbing every single season? You know, is this a repeat of history with Anthony Davis? Is he going to leave for a major market like LA as soon as he hits free agency or demand a trade out? Let me know what you guys think about Zion Williamson. Is his career over? Uh, are the injuries more concerning 
than the front office is trying to lead off. Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time. And I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.